Hey, everybody, this is Mr. Mac Burnett, and I love physics. Welcome, everybody, to our first podcast of the year. And this first podcast is all about podcasts. Why are we doing it? Where do we find them? What do I have to do with them? So to start off with, we're going to introduce ourselves. So as I said before, my name is Mr. Mac Burnett. Most people just call me Mr. Mac. And you can find me in room 113, available most mornings and afternoons for tutorials. So let's take a look at a couple of our other physics teachers this year. Here they are. Good morning, my name is Javier Duenas. Um, I am the physics and physical science teacher and I am a floating teacher. Hey, I'm Mr. Nash, I'm in room 117. I teach on-level physics and AP physics. Hello Mustangs, my name is uh, Mr. Florence. I'm in room 139 and I teach AP physics one and on-level physics, have a great year. Hi, I'm Mr. Longley, I'll be in room 1023. I'll be teaching astronomy, earth space science and regular physics. All right. Well, what we want to do is take a look at your Cornell note sheet that you were given in class, and we want to answer these questions about podcasts. So the first thing we've already answered is, who are the sexy physics teachers this year, and where can I find them? That's the information you should have just seen from our short little videos. Uh, the next question is going to be, where can I find the podcast? Well, there's going to be two locations. Sometimes you're going to be watching the video straight from YouTube, and other times you'll be taking small quizzes like you may be doing today through a service called Edpuzzle. So let's take a look at both of those. When you go to uh, YouTube, all you have to go is search for Saxy Physics. That can bring you to our web channel, our YouTube channel here. And if you look at the menu options up here, you've got home, but you've got videos. And when you click videos, you get this page that you see in front of you. And there's a set of videos from last year. We'll be rearranging these as we go forward. But you can very easily click on one, watch it, and see the information contained in that video about that particular subject. To find the video that you're interested in, make sure you're looking at the proper date. Each of the videos are numbered with the date that they were assigned. Okay, so let's take a look at our, our another place that we can look at our videos, and that's going to be Edpuzzle. Uh, Edpuzzle is a website. Uh, starts off looking like this. When you go to Edpuzzle, all you have to do is sign in with your school's Google uh, Google login. Uh, you'll need to be provided a class code by your teachers. You should have that if you're watching this through Edpuzzle at the moment. Uh, as you watch the video, and you have to watch the video, you'll eventually get to questions that you can fill in blanks. These questions will then be recorded in our gradebook as a homework grade. So remember, these videos are important for your grades also. So how many of the podcasts do I have to watch? Well, you got to watch all of them, I think. Yeah, all of them. But here's the great thing. You only have a couple of podcasts for every class you take. Remember, we're on A, B schedule, so you'll watch one video for the A day or one video for the B day. But feel free to watch both of them on A days. If you want to, you can also, if there's a video available ahead of time, you can watch it then, too. So, uh, next question. Is this going to take a lot of time? Hopefully not. Our goal is to keep these uh, podcasts down to five to six minutes. We want to make your time worthwhile, which answers the next question. Why am I doing this? Well, you're doing this in lieu of doing actual paper homework, doing a lot of problem sets. We want you to get some information before you come to class and practice that new learning in class rather than going home, working on a practice set and not having any resources, namely me, to help you out with it. So this is in lieu of homework, hopefully to make your life a lot easier. So where can you watch these videos? Well, you can watch them anywhere that you have internet access. You can watch them on your smartphone, at home, at school, before school, after school, in the library, during lunch, in a tutorial, where a lot of people will if you don't typically have internet access at home. Feel free to come in and see any of the physics teachers in the morning or the afternoon to catch up on your podcast. We've got plenty of computers for you.
And finally, our last question, what if there's a problem? What if the video isn't playing? Uh, well, that's going to be fine. We'll have technical glitches throughout the year. That's going to be all right. We can always get those correct, and you can watch the video later. And the great thing is these videos are available months after the fact, so when it comes time to review, you can quickly go back to a particular subject that you're a little weak on and catch up fairly quickly. So hopefully these uh, podcasts are going to be a great resource for you throughout the year. So if you have any questions, ask any physics teacher. So I hope this helps, and we'll see you in our next podcast.